So let's bring back in Princeton University professor and News Nation political contributor Lauren Wright. Lauren, I have you, right? I have you this time. Um, hey, I, I, Jesse, I, you great. Do. Hi. Great. Good to, good to have you. Um, so when we talk about the communication strategy here, uh, and clearly this was a move by President Biden's camp to try to calm down concerns that people had after what was arguably a disastrous debate that he had with Donald Trump. Uh, they're trying to send out a message. There were some talking points at the beginning about his condition during the bait. It was a bad episode. He was exhausted. He was sick. What do you make of this communication strategy to the American people uh, through this interview? It's simply too little too late because this is not going to make Americans forget what they saw on Thursday. And frankly, many of the answers Biden gave might have been fine for a typical politician on a typical night. He dismissed the polls. He said, don't count me out. I'm a fighter. You know, those are things that we hear all the time from an underdog, but not from someone who's trying to establish the basic fact that they are up to the job of being the leader of the free world. And he really didn't do that because all of the classic points at which Stephanopoulos asked him about his acuity, asked him to acknowledge the positions he's in, that's just under extra scrutiny because now we wonder, well, why does he say he's not aware of all the criticism? Why is he saying he's not sure if he, you know, watched the debate back or not? All of these things sound bizarre, maybe not in a typical typical year for a normal person, but for Biden, under the scrutiny that he's under, I thought did not help at all and sounded extra bad. Well, what <laughs> to was be the, very blunt about it? What, what was well? Look, look. I, I mean, I, I think we can agree it wasn't like it was in the debate, right? But and you may say he didn't have the kind of gaffes, he didn't have the freezes. But what was the goal of this? I think it's interesting, right? Agreeing to an ABC News interview on a Friday night during a holiday weekend. Uh, what was the goal? How many people did they want to see this? Why do this interview tonight? Um, what was the positioning of this? Because you know every single aspect of it from President Biden's camp. It was intentional. Um, and they were prepared for all these questions. Did it seem like he was prepared for every question? What was the move that he was trying? What was the positioning he was trying to put forward? I'm sure he was prepared for every question, but frankly, his ability to think on his feet and reassure people, I'm not convinced is is there anymore. And I don't think this helps with that at all. And it really is very much in the vein of all of the strategy that's been going around surrounding the disaster mitigation since the debate, which doesn't make any sense to me, which is... He's totally fine. It was just an off night. No, he's not going anywhere. Everyone saw what they saw, and they're not reassured by anything that's organized, and you know, especially something that's 22 minutes long. Um, yes, George Stephanopoulos asked him very fair, very tough questions. I thought he did a very good job. But a lot of people also know this is someone who used to work for the Clinton administration. There might be doubts about you know, whether he's nonpartisan mm -hmm. by nature. And so it was something that was not set up for success for Biden. So the bar was very high. But also, I'm not sure why they're trying with this. What he needs to do is go in front of reporters and talk for two hours, and he's not willing to do that. And mm. anything less than that, and it's been too long since the debate, I don't think we'll do anything to assuage the very serious and fair concerns that voters have. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.